In this video, we will discuss anxiolytic drug benzodiazepines. We'll discuss their clinical uses, drug interactions, toxicity, withdrawal effects, classification of benzodiazepines, and their mechanisms of action. Before I start, I have important exam questions about the benzodiazepines. I'll read them for you and we'll get the answer when we go through the topic. So my question number one is, which drug may decrease or increase the actions of benzodiazepines? Number two, when in epilepsy benzodiazepines are given what's the drug and the route number three which are most abused benzodiazepines number four how are benzodiazepines removed number five what's the treatment of benzodiazepine toxicity and what adjunctive drugs are also used number six what are the contraindications for benzodiazepine use number seven which benzodiazepines can be given in liver failure number eight what percentage of benzodiazepines benzodiazepine dose is reduced to prevent withdrawal effects in benzodiazepine users. Number 9. How long does it take for benzodiazepines to develop tolerance? Number 10. Which non-benzodiazepine binds to benzodiazepine receptors? Number 11. What are the disadvantages of the Z drugs? Number 12. What's the site of buspirone action? Number 14. Why is buspheron not used in acute anxiety? Number 15. What are the advantages of buspheron? Number 16. Which anxiolytics may be given in head injury? Number 17. Which benzodiazepines does not have active metabolites? Number 18. What's the mechanism of action of benzodiazepines and how is it different from barbiturates? And number 19. Where do barbiturates act? So the anxiolytic drugs may be benzodiazepines or not benzodiazepines. We will mainly discuss benzodiazepines in this discussion. Now clinical uses of benzodiazepines. They may be used in neurological disorders or psychiatric disorders. So the uses in neurological disorders. Number one is status epilepticus. The drug of choice is diazepam giving IV. Number two is surgical premedication. Preferred drugs are diazepam and midazolam. Number three is spasmodic muscle disorder. Muscle is spasm. Number four they are used in stiff syndrome benzodiazepine plus baclofen number five parkinson disease the drug of choice is solpidem number six post-traumatic stress disorder number seven narcolepsy the drug for narcolepsy treatment is modafinil it's not a benzodiazepine benzodiazepine in narcolepsy are used for nighttime sleep disturbances and gamma hydroxybutyrates in narcolepsy are used for cataplexy and number eight they are used for rest leg leg syndrome now psychiatric disorders in which benzodiazepines are used number one alcohol barbiturate and narcotic withdrawal the mnemonics is cold C for chlorodiazepoxide, O for oxazepam, L for lorazepam, and D for diazepam. Number two, they are used in obsessive compulsive disorders. Number three, panic disorders. The drug of choice is alprazolam. Number four, phobia. Number five, psychosis and depression. The mnemonics is ACL, A for alprazolam, C for clonazepam, and L for lorazepam. Of these drugs, clonazepam increases the time between the cycles and causes fewer depressive episodes. Now the drug interactions of the benzodiazepines. Number one, CNS depressant. Alcohol, barbiturates, and narcotics are additive and synergistic, so they increase the toxicity of benzodiazepines. Number two, benzodiazepines are mostly metabolized by oxidation by cytochrome P450. So cytochrome P450 inhibition will increase the plasma concentration and toxicity of the benzodiazepines. So the drugs that inhibits the cytochrome P50 are the mnemonics is I code. I for INH, C for cimetidine, O for oral contraceptives, D for disulfiram and E for erythromycin. So the important drug they may inhibit the cytochrome p450 and increase the toxicity of benzodiazepines are cimetidine oral contraceptives and erythromycin and number three cytochrome p450 inducers will decrease the action of benzodiazepines so what are the cytochrome p450 inducers 
they are phenytoin and rifampicin. So they will decrease the action of benzodiazepine, so the dose should be increased. The side effects and toxicity of benzodiazepines. Which benzodiazepines are most abused benzodiazepines? In order of frequency, most abused benzodiazepines are number one, alprazolam, Xanax. Number two, clonazepam, clonapin. Number three, lorazepam. And number four, valium, diazepam. Benzodiazepines share 12% of the drug abuse. And what's the most commonly abused drug? Most commonly abused drug other than alcohol is cocaine. So now the mnemonics for the toxic effects are A, B, C, D, H. 4A, altered mental status, amnesia, anger and ataxia. 2B, bradycardia and behavioral disturbances. C, for confusion. 2D, drowsiness and depression of the respiratory center and H, 2H, hypertension and hypnosis. What's the antidote for benzodiazepine toxicity? Flumazenil IV is the antidote for benzodiazepine toxicity. Its half-life is very short, 7 to 15 minutes. What's flumazenil? It's a selective benzodiazepine receptor antagonist and a competitive inhibitor. It's given IV in multiple doses from 0.2 to 0.5 mg every 30 seconds to 1 minute until the patient is awake and the maximum dose is 3 mg per hour. Which adjunctive drugs are used to prevent withdrawal effects of benzodiazepine? Number 1, carbamazepine 400 to 500 mg per day and number 2, beta blockers. So, 3 drugs used for benzodiazepine toxicity. Flumazenil, IV, carbamazepine and beta blockers. Now, contraindications of the benzodiazepines. Liver disease or liver failure. Number 1, it causes increased toxicity because the drugs remains in the body for longer period. Period. Number two, increased risk of benzodiazepine toxicity in elderly over the age of 65 due to decreased liver function. And number three contraindication, pregnancy. Why? Because it causes increased risk of cleft palate. Which anxiolytic drugs can be given in liver failure and why? The mnemonics is LOT, L-O-T, L for lorazepam, O for oxazepam and T for tempazepam. So these three drugs, lorazepam, oxazepam and tempazepam, they may be given in liver failure because they are removed by conjugation. Now withdrawal effects of benzodiazepines. beans. Withdrawal effects parallels the duration of drug action and occurs more quickly with short action drugs after they are metabolized and removed from the body. Withdrawal may begin hours to days, hours in case of short acting and days for the long acting after the discontinuation and continue for weeks and months. The short acting benzodiazepines withdrawal peak rapidly and intensely. Abrupt discontinuation of the drug causes rebound effects. They are anxiety, insomnia, hyperexcitability, psychosis, hallucination depression, panic attacks, muscle spasm, muscle cramp, increased blood pressure and tachycardia. To prevent the withdrawal effects of short acting benzodiazepines, long acting may be given. Withdrawal effects of long acting benzodiazepines can be prevented by reducing the dose 10% per week. Now tolerance. Continuous use of the drug produces enzyme induction that metabolizes the drug faster that reduces its effects. So to produce the same effect Effects, the dose has to be increased. Benzodiazepine tolerance develops four weeks after continuous use. Now the types of anxiolytic or benzodiazepines, there are three types short acting, their half life is two to four hours. Long acting, the half life is two to four days and intermediate acting roughly one to two days. Short acting, they are not given in chronic anxiety. So short acting drugs are divided into two benzodiazepines and non-benzodiazepines. Number one, short acting benzodiazepines Benzodiazepines. Mnemonics is ATOM. A T O M. A for alprazolam. This is the most abused benzodiazepine. T for triazolam. O for oxazepam and M for midazolam. Now number two, short-acting non-benzodiazepines. They include two groups: Z drug and buspirone. Now let's discuss the Z drug. Z drugs are non-benzodiazepine drugs that bind to the benzodiazepine receptors and are selectively hypnotics. Examples of Z drug are Zolpidem, 
zolpidlone and azopiclone the z drugs are rapidly absorbed orally they are selective sedative but they have no muscle relaxation and no anti convulsant effects so they are not muscle relaxed their half life is 2 to 3 hours so withdrawal is common and rebound insomnia also occurs with enterograde amnesia now buspiron buspiron are the known benzodiazepine anxiolytic drug they do not act on the benzodiazepine receptors so where do they act they combine with 5 ht 1a receptors where they act as agonist and it is a partial antagonist of the ssri so when does the action starts buspirin action starts after 2 weeks so they are not used for acute anxiety they also cause no muscle relaxation so the disadvantage that they cannot be used for acute anxiety and they are not muscle relaxant so what are the uses of the buspirin they are used in chronic anxiety number 1 they can be used in head injury and number 3 they can also be used in dementia patient and what are the advantages of buspirin no sedation no respiratory or cns depression no abuse no tolerance or dependence so buspirin does not have sedation respiratory depression abuse tolerance or dependence and no muscle relaxation also and they can also be used in head injury patients and dementia now the long acting benzodiazepines the mnemonic is cdcf c for chlorodiazepoxide d for diazepam c for chlorazepate and f for fluorazepam they have a first part hepatic metabolism so what's the first part hepatic metabolism and what's its effect during the metabolism of benzodiazepine liver produces active metabolite that is absorbed into circulation and produces benzodiazepine action again after few hours now intermediate acting benzodiazepines the mnemonic is tlc t for tempazepam l for lorazepam and c for clonazepam clonazepam is the intermediate acting that has no active metabolite now benzodiazepines mechanism of action benzodiazepine they increase the inhibitory neurotransmitter gaba gamma amino butyric is how do they act benzodiazepine binds to the gamma subunit of the gaba receptor so how does it act benzodiazepine increases the chloride influx thus increasing the inside negative charge potassium goes out causing hyperpolarization stabilizing the cell membrane leading to decreased neuro neuronal firing and producing the anxiolytic effect benzodiazepine increase the frequency of chloride channel opening and have a plateau effect whereas barbiturates have a continuous increasing effect on hypnosis by increasing chloride channel duration so that's the difference between the barbiturate and benzodiazepine so where do barbiturate acts barbiturates binds to beta subunits of gaba receptor whereas benzodiazepines binds to gamma subunit of the gaba receptors barbiturates open the chloride channel for longer duration whereas benzodiazepine increase the frequency of chloride entry barbiturates also block the excitatory ampa receptors of the glutamate so what are the advantages of benzodiazepines over barbiturates number 1 benzodiazepines have a wide therapeutic index and are more effective number two they are less likely to cause drug interaction whereas barbiturates induce the hepatic microsomal enzyme so they remove many drug very quickly from the body preventing their action and number three physical dependence and withdrawal symptoms are less marked with benzodiazepines compared to the barbiturates